You know what's funny? I was talking to mom today and I was like telling her about this because I was really excited for this movie. And I mean, I knew it was going to be bad. God bless you. <laughs> but I said I was like did I ever have you like did you ever read Artemis Fowl mm -hmm. and she was like he was such a brat and I was like yeah you she doesn't like media where the children are like smart <laughs> or oh no independent no, no. or do you remember so everything she said about Sears and Portrait Events when no. she had to read it she read it with like one of her students uh. Uh, when she was tutoring and she was like they're the worst. I hate these books. <gasps> what They're the so book? sad. Oh, oh. I was like, okay, yeah, it sounds right. <laughs> I was thinking about like Rocket Power. She didn't want oh, us yeah, to yeah. watch Rocket Power. <laughs> Those kids weren't that smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'm using the wrong word. Like bratty, I guess. Yeah. She doesn't it's like. Obedient. Yeah, she doesn't like disobedience. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the entirety. Is that what it's called, Porto? I have no idea. Yeah, didn't you take a Shakespeare class? I did. <laughs> I know I've heard the term folio in terms like applied to Shakespeare, but I don't know what it means. Um. <laughs> well, okay. So a quick spiel on Hamlet. Oh God. Ooh, <laughs> quick spiel on Hamlet. We're gonna be here for a few hours. Originally, we think that the that Shakespeare was wrote Hamlet as a sixteen year old boy mm -hmm. or like seventeen or eighteen. But then he had to have his leading man play Hamlet, and at the time his leading man was like 38 years old. So there's like, so he like went back and changed some stuff to have his leading man play Hamlet with like the, the text surrounding his age. So there are different, different parts of the text refer to him as different ages. Oh. So he could be Loophole. 48. <laughs> he could be 16. <laughs> Whichever, however you choose to play it. You know, it really doesn't matter because Shakespeare was just writing for money. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> that aside, uh, this, this podcast is sponsored by Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag ad. Bolio is something, I don't know, something. My my, well, my, do? my Shakespeare professor told me once it's something to do with like the way they folded the paper, like there are oh, longer, oh, oh, okay. longer and shorter versions of each of every play. And Hamlet is, for those who don't know, the longest Shakespeare <laughs> play already. <laughs> but you can make it longer if you feel like it. I don't hate Hamlet, by the way. Yeah. I kind of like Hamlet, but it's not my favorite Shakespeare play. Uh, well, okay, so I didn't, like, I don't know that that's the word that I've been exposed to in talking about those. It probably is, but I never heard that there's a difference in length between those. It was just a, it's just a matter of, like, how the paper was folded to conserve paper to make, like, a there's, like, a play, like, an actor's version, which is smaller and more condensed, and then there's, like, a a big version that's meant to go on, like, your coffee table. I was like, hey, I'm rich enough to own the full Hamlet script, and it's oh, it's it's double the amount of paper because it's only folded in half instead of in quarters. Did they have coffee tables? <laughs> no, but that's the idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, anyway. Surrounded by cow manure. Uh, I digress. Uh, fuck, what is that called? Ransom rigs. Library of Souls. I have it. It was a Tim Burton movie. came out a couple of years ago. I can't remember what it's called. I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, Warm Body? No. That's mm. Tim Burton? Uh, so. Well, it's Johnny Depp. At the very least. No. What? What are you... Warm Body? Wait, no. You're talking about Dark Shadows. Yeah. Not that. But Warm okay. Bodies is something else. Okay. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Warm Bodies is the zombie movie where it's like a, it's like a romance. Is that Megan... Megan what's her face in it? Megan Fox? Am I thinking of a different movie again? Yes. You're thinking of, <laughs> now you're thinking of Jennifer's Body. You know what it means Which is a I, cult classic. <laughs> when I say I don't watch movies, I don't know how to watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Our bodies is the one where he's a zombie and he's falling in love with a, like a normal girl and she like helps bring him back to life. It's kind of cheesy, but like it's fine. And that's not Johnny Depp. That is not Johnny Depp, and it's also not Megan Fox. Okay, wait, okay. that one's not Megan Fox. No, <laughs> Megan Fox is Jennifer's body, where she gets sacrificed to the devil and then she comes back as a demon and makes out with Amanda Seyfried. That's Jennifer's oh, body, right? Haven't seen that, but I kind of want to. I own it. It's very good. Well, I'm I don't know. okay. Very good is kind of a strong they thing go like to say. This. Stop putting these in the wrong spots. I was gonna ask if you guys are fucking up my organization over there. It. I'm fixing it. <laughs> Listen, it took me all of ten minutes to organize those pins. You love organizing pens. You're right. <laughs> Isn't that Hold on, a wait. Hold on, wait. 
Yes. It's a big fucking bird. <laughs> is it a seabird? Yes, it is a seabird. Uh, well, wow. Actually, if you, do you remember, you think, and we're going to talk about stupid shit like okay. we always do. Okay. Uh, Rescuers. Remember that movie with the mice? Yes. That's an albatross. Not the mice. The bird. <laughs> with the saddle on its back. That's an albatross. <laughs> Wait, is that, I don't know how I know is that, that down under or is that the other one? Either one, it's the same bird. Oh, okay. But yes. I think I know what you're talking about. We need to watch that movie again. I don't know how I know he's an albatross. <laughs> are you just making it up? Albatrosses are the biggest seabird, other than penguins. I guess I should say albatrosses are the biggest flying, flying seabird. seabird. Yes. A seabird? <laughs> Okay, let me rephrase. <laughs> let me rephrase again. I believe, although I allegedly, allegedly. albatrosses have the widest wingspan of any seabird. Okay, that makes sense to me. Oh, they definitely <laughs> don't have a wider wingspan than penguins. <laughs> I absolutely will not fact check that. <laughs> but it sounds good to me. <laughs> this has been our podcast. You're welcome.